The Best Ranger series is brought to you by Mission First Tactical, made in the USA. Previously on Best Ranger 2011. The speed on display in the buddy run and endurance proven in the road march. The Ranger's ability to adapt is about to be tested. America's forces have been tested in combat and now two-man teams from across the military will be tested in competition. 50 teams of the U.S. Army Rangers' best have come to compete in one of the most grueling competitions the military has to offer. They'll be tested both physically and mentally with tasks that would break the common soldier. There's going to be some blood, some sweat, and some tears. You just have to push yourself past the point where you want to stop. You just got to keep going. But in the end, there can only be one winner. Welcome to the Best Ranger Competition 2011. Every year, the Best Ranger Competition tests its competitors with a throwback event. In the past, they've shot arrows, fired muskets, and thrown tomahawks. This year's legacy event is an old-fashioned canoe race down the Yupitoy Creek running through Fort Benning, Georgia. Depending on the weather, this waterway can be a dry creek bed or raging rapids. Today, the Yupitoy is just perfect. At the end of the road march, the rangers still have their 60-pound rucksacks, M4 rifles, and camelbacks. All this gear has to be reconfigured and secured inside a canoe. If any equipment is lost, this results in immediate disqualification. The racing events are scored based on time. Every ranger competing has to give maximum effort or risk losing. Team 51 leads the competition with teams 49 and 43, and the 4th Infantry teams, 32 and 33, from Colorado right behind them. But then, disaster strikes for Team 33. Their canoe tips over as soon as they enter the rapids. Team 33 dumps the water out and they get going again, but they've made a critical error. Captain Tran, the smaller of the two competitors, rides in the back. Their canoe is now front heavy in the water and they will be fighting the canoe for the entire race. Right now, just because someone's in first place doesn't mean that that's where they're going to finish. The interesting thing about this competition is it's all about that endurance. It's all about how far you can go. Yeah, we've done two events so far. We're on our event number three, but guess what? The guys in the back can quickly go to the front depending on how much adversity they can push through and how much resilience they have to overcome some of these obstacles. What's worse is that once the team dumps their canoe in the water, their gear quickly soaks up that water, adding an additional 15 to 20 pounds to their already heavy packs. They will then have to carry this extra weight for the rest of the competition. They're just gonna continue to be off balance. They're gonna continue to roll over. These guys are gonna struggle. They're gonna lose a couple positions right here just messing with this boat. Our Sanford, did you expect to see a canoe when you came around the corner? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, I know. Best to see this. Come on, it's just a nice gingerly uh, boat ride down the Yupitoy. That's right, huh? Couldn't ask for anything better. Well, I don't know about better. Hey, good luck, guys. You guys are kicking ass. Thank you, sir. How you doing, Team 40? Living Can the dream, right? At the halfway point, Team 40 is making up progress in the race. It looks like water training has paid off for the teams from Hawaii and the 25th Infantry Division. Teams 36 and 37 also have made up critical time as they pass other teams along the way. After eight miles of paddling their canoe down the Yupitoy Creek, the Rangers beach their canoes and have to run the final mile to Malone 5 Machine Gun Range and the next event. Team 8 arrives at the shore right after Team 51. They've made up significant time and are challenging the leaders for the win.
Sergeant Major Zakowski and Master Sergeant Turk are among the oldest competitors. They are both previous Best Ranger winners and know what it takes to succeed. And the final run through the woods, Team 8 passes Team 51. In a surprise, Team 8 wins the canoe event. In fifth place through the first two events, their performance has now catapulted them into first place. Right behind Team 8 are the teams from Hawaii, with Captain Nick Stavros and Rob Mulkey from Team 36, and Zach Seidel and First Lieutenant Brett Latsha from Team 37. These rangers regularly practice canoeing and kayaking as part of their train-up, and it has paid off with their top scores in this event. The Best Ranger Series is brought to you by Mission First Tactical, made in the USA. Coming up on Best Ranger 2011, Rangers compete to see who's the top shot in the machine gun event, and later, it's a fight to survive every commander's worst nightmare, combat in an urban environment, all on Best Ranger 2011.